all right all right welcome to online mass tv my name is jake sanima as you all know yeah we have a very nice exponential challenge on the board a very nice exponential equation how do we solve this equation now but before we go into to this challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe do it to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now all right let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time now the question reads your x to the power of 2 equal to e to the power of x what that will be the possible value of x now from this exponential equation it is obvious that we have to solve for two roots that will satisfy this equation so what will be the two roots that will satisfy this equation so we take our solution from here so let's take solution solution we pull down our question, which reads your x to the power of 2 equal to your e to the power of x. Now, the first thing we do here is to eliminate this power here. So, we take the square root of both sides. And so, so we have here x squared, the square root of this equal to the square root of your e to the power of x. Now, immediately we take the square root of both sides, we introduce our plus minus here plus minus to the left hand side sorry to the right hand side of the equation meanwhile this this we go with x okay so from here now our equation will now becomes your x equal to your plus minus we can rewrite this square root sign here as your e to the power of your x dot one all over two so rewriting the whole of this we're going to have x is equal to plus minus your e to the power of x all over 2. Now, if you look at this expression here, we are having two cases here, the positive and the negative to this. Okay, now if you look at this carefully, again, if we solve the positive one first, we're going to have imaginary root, but the negative will give us a real root. And so let's take the negative one as our case one and so from here let's continue from here all right sorry i'm using a mini board here now so we take our case one so case one why is our case one we're taking x equal to your minus e to the power of your x all over two the first thing we're going to do here is to divide by e to the power of x all over two so if we do that, we're going to divide this by e to the power of x all over 2. And this side also, e to the power of x all over 2. Now, this, we go with this. So here we're going to have minus 1. Okay? So, and we can rewrite this expression we have here now. Okay? So, but let's put this down first. So we have your x all over your e to the power of x all over 2 equal to minus 1. Again, if you look at this expression, we can rewrite this expression according to the law of indices. So if I write this as your x dot your e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to minus 1, this has not changed anything. I just apply the law of indices. Okay, so moving this to this side of the equation. All right. Now, if you look at this expression here, what comes to mind on how to solve for our x here being the variable is just the application of your Lambert W function. Okay, but before we can apply the Lambert W function, what does it say? It says that if you have your star, there times your e to the power of your star, and you take the Lambert W function of this expression, then we'll go to this will give us a star. So let's take a look at our expression here now. We are having minus x all over 2. Here we are only having x. So the difference is minus 1 all over. So let's multiply through by minus 1 all over 2 by both sides. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be minus 1 all over 2 dot x dot your e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to minus 1 times minus 1 all over 2. If we carry out our pressure here, we're going to have here to be minus your x all over 2 dot your e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to positive 1 all over 2. Easy. 
Okay, so here we cannot apply our Lambert W function. And so if we do that, let's take our Lambert W function. So this, we equally apply that to this other side. Good. So let's erase this. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the board. So from here, applying the Lambert W function, we're going to have here minus x all over 2 equal to our Lambert function of 1 all over 2. Easy. So what is the next thing we do here? Here, we multiply by minus 2. If we multiply both sides by minus 2, we're going to have our x equal to minus 2 into our Lambert W function of 1 all over 2. So the question now is, what is the numerical value of what we have here now? Finding the value of Lambert W function of 1 all over 2, multiply it by minus 2. Now, in most of my um, challenges, I always stop at this level, but many of my viewers and subscribers have always asked me, how do we get the numerical value? All you need to do is just to impute this into your um, Wolfram Alpha calculator. Okay, so at this point, because we want to get the actual numerical value, then let's resort to our, our soft copy of the Wolfram Alpha calculator. Okay, okay, so we have here minus 2 w bracket 1 all over 2. Yeah, let's send this here to yeah, minus 2. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. So, why is loading up? If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do it to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop awesome video, wonderful video like the one you're watching right now. Okay, so from here, we have our answer. From here, we have our x is approximately equal to minus 0 0.7034. Okay, so this is our x1. Okay, so we have minus 0 0.7035. Though approximately we still have it da 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 da. All right, so let's take case two to our challenge. Case two says that our x is equal to your plus your e to the power of x all over two. Good. Again, we follow same procedure. Yeah. So let's divide by our e to the power of x all over two. Here we have e to the power of x all over two. Again, this this will leave to give us here one. And so we're going to rewrite this like we did in the first case. So we're going to have x dot your e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to your positive 1. So yeah, we multiply both sides by minus 1 all over 2. And so this will give us minus your x all over 2 dot your e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to minus your um, 1 all over 2. Because minus 1 all over 2 uh, times one, positive 1 will still give us this. So at this point, what do we do? We take the Lambert W function of both sides. So if we do that, we're going to have this, the, the Lambert W function, and also this side, a Lambert W function. Okay, so let's proceed on the, this side. So if we take the Lambert W function of this, we're going to have this to be minus x all over 2 equal to your Lambert W function of minus 1 all over 2. Good. So multiply by your minus 2. If you multiply true by minus 2, we're going to have this to be x is equal to minus 2 there uh, into your Lambert W function of minus 1 all over 2. So again, let's impute this into our Wolfram Alpha calculator and see what this gives us. So if we type this in, we have here minus. Again, while it's loading up, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do it to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video. All right, so we have our answer for our function here now. So we have our x. x is equal to your one point. 5880 eight, minus 1.5402i. Okay, so this is our x 
2. And also our x2 is uh, minus 0 0.70345 approximately. Okay, so this is our x1, please. This is our x1. Okay, now you discover that among the two roots we solve for, x1 is only real root. The s2 is an imaginary root. Okay, so this is all I have for you for today. If you learned something from this um, challenge, give the video a thumbs up. Or if you have any question with regard to the survey, drop it in the comment section below. Okay, remember this is all I must TV. And my name remains Jake's Animal. I love you because you are always there. Bye for now.